Well, it's that time of year, and this is a pretty good project for motion, a little cornucopia. So let's just dive right in. We'll start with a new project. And I'm going to start with the circle tool. And I'm going to hold down the option key. It doesn't really matter. You can just draw something out. That's about that size. Go into the inspector and it just helps out if you just do this by habit. Just center this up. I'm going to go ahead and make this a gradient. And let's start with a kind of a beige. A darker beige. and kind of a brown and we'll use the adjust item tool to um, go ahead and paint this gradient in this circle something like that you can come back and make this a little better later Okay, that'll be okay. And for the outline, uh, we'll just do a really dark brown. And leave it like that. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new group. And go back to the circle. Replicate it. Drag the replicator into the new group. We'll turn this into a circle with an outline arrangement. Align the angle and add enough points so that they touch. Let's flip these around 180 degrees so that the shadow is on the inside. Let's draw a line. I'm going to start up here, click and drag this out. You come over here, click and drag this out so that I have a nice little curve here. Hit the return key and for the outline, I'm going to change this to image. And for the source, I'm going to drag the replicator. I'm going to set the width to let's go with 650 and the spacing well, let's just drag the spacing down till we get a nice weave I'm going to go into the stroke panel and for the width over stroke for the start point remember this was the start point up here I'm going to Drag this down. And there's our cornucopia. I'm going to go back to the circle and properties, rotation, and Z. Just going to offset this just a little bit. And for the replicator, I'm going to go back in and add some more points. Going back to the Bezier for the stroke, I'm going to add a little bit of a twist. So you can go either direction. Not that much. Let's go the other way. I just want something around 60 degrees or so. And let's go back and fix the color. Need to put the Bezier line in another group. 
Oh, let's turn off the replicator group. Okay. Okay. An easy way to take that artificial shine off is to just add a hue saturation. Take the saturation down some. And Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, there you have your cornucopia. Let's see what you can do with this. Let's select the bezier that creates the curve here and edit points and you can drag this around and get yourself a nice different kind of perspective. Now realize that this is all 2D and flat. If I add a camera, change all this to 3D and take a look at what's going on in the scene. You see this is just flat. So this is just an optical illusion but it's a really nice one and you can add whatever content you want like fall leaves and harvest vegetables. If you do a search on uh, Google for free fall harvest pictures you can cut in and make a display for this. But finding a nice cornucopia image that's for free is a little bit difficult and it takes almost no effort whatsoever to create one in motion. So there you have it. A nice little holiday project for you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll catch you on the next one.